Why isn't anyone listening to Omar Apollo? In a music industry littered with manufactured artists that are seemingly programmed to sound exactly like one another, 21-year-old singer-songwriter Omar Apollo is living by a different mantra. Work hard, be yourself, and make whatever it is that you want to make. I'm going to structure this video by looking at those three ideas that this young, talented musician is currently embracing. So first, how is Omar Apollo working hard? The easy answer is that it was something he was born into. Omar, whose real name is Omar Velasco, is the son of Mexican immigrants. His father came to the US in 1979 to escape gang violence, and he would go back and forth to Mexico to visit Omar's mother. They would write letters to one another, Omar's mother finally joined him in the early 90s, and they settled in a small town in Indiana. It was there that they opened a Mexican restaurant, had three kids, and worked tirelessly to provide for the family. With Omar growing up, they taught him guitar, and once he finished high school, he decided that he wanted to be a musician. Omar's parents told him that he could give it a try as long as he promised to work as hard as he could. He tried college for a little bit, it wasn't for him, and now being a full-time musician was the only thing on his mind. He was making beats in his free time, working at Jimmy John's and then Guitar Center, and that's when he started maxing out credit cards and using his employee discount to get the equipment that he needed. Still, he was working odd jobs and doing whatever he could to get money. He had to move out of his parents' house, and he was living with six other friends in a tiny place. Early on, when he was trying to learn how to sing, he would record voice memos on his phone, and his friends, his parents, they would literally yell at him to stop because he sounded so bad. But he kept practicing, and eventually he got pretty good. He finally got around to self-recording a few songs, he put them on SoundCloud, they started getting some listens, he put them on Spotify, and one of his tracks, You Got Me, was playlisted, and overnight, it gained 50,000 listens. All of his hard work started to pay off. Within his music that he's released so far, Omar is 1000% being himself. Across his two EPs, 2018 Stereo and the recently released Friends, his story, his influences are widely represented across these songs. He's talked about listening to the Beatles nonstop growing up, and also being obsessed with a variety of romantic Mexican vocalists. These two different kinds of influences are sort of like a map or a compass for analyzing Omar's music. As we'll touch on in a second, Omar's music stretches across vastly different genres. And I don't even necessarily mean, oh, it's an ambiguous kind of sound that he has. He'll seriously go from one distinct genre to a completely different genre from one song to the next. And if we think about one of the original bands to really master the formula for creating a bunch of different kinds of songs, I think the Beatles are a great example. While most of their stuff was rock or pop centric, they're a perfect influence for navigating the structure of a song and tinkering with it to fit other subgenres. And then with the Mexican influences, Omar has said, with Mexican soul, they sound like they're crying. That's definitely where I get the emotional part from. And this part makes so much sense too. Within Omar's music, and especially his live performances, there is so much emotion. When you grow up on these hyper-romantic, iconic Mexican musicians of the 60s and 70s that wore their hearts on their sleeves, it makes sense that you would try to match some of those feelings within your own music. And with truly being yourself, that easily translates to making whatever it is that you want to make. Listening to examples is obviously the way to go here, so check out a few snippets off of Omar's 2019 seven track release, Friends. The opening song, Ashamed, is this wildly funky, ultra confident track that definitely puts an image of Prince into your head. The title track, Friends, is the exact opposite a gentle, acoustic guitar ballad that is very vulnerable. You just thought I just wanted to be friends. And So Good is an electric, makes you want to get up and move kind of song that feels like a mix between the internet and Duran Duran. Yeah, 
I don't know what else I could possibly say to get you to listen to this artist. He's an incredibly talented musician with a huge career ahead of him, and I highly recommend his two EPs. Check him out, let me know what you think, and thanks for watching. Hey, thank you for watching that video. Be sure to check out Omar's EPs. If you want to support the channel, feel free to like, comment, and subscribe. You can follow me on social media at RenshawHS. You can buy my merch, support my Patreon, and thank you. I'll see you soon.